Hey guys, it's Alex Pierce from LightSailVR.com. If you're watching this video, then you should definitely check out my playlist on Octane Standalone. Even if you don't plan on using Octane Standalone, learning the basics of it will help you on your Octane journey. In this video, I'll show you how to use Octane's network rendering and some common problems you might run into. The way Octane's network rendering works, it speeds up not just your final renders, but your viewport performance as well. Here's a sneak peek from this video. You can see here it took three minutes and six seconds with no network rendering and only 36 seconds with network rendering enabled. In this example, I used four render nodes as well as the host computer's GPU and the results were exactly five times better with the extra power. I'm showing you how to do this in Octane Standalone, but it works in all of the plugins the same way. The most difficult part of setting up network rendering is configuring a local area network. I'm not going to cover that in this video, so you'll need to set up your own local area network before continuing. Okay, let's jump in. The first step is to log into your Otoy account, go to Downloads, and select Enterprise Standalone, and choose the version you want. And make sure that you use the same version for the render node. So go ahead and download that, and then go down to Render Node, and then make sure you download the same version of the render node. Now we'll set up a render node. So I'm logged into this machine right now, and I'm going to double click on this program and click run. Yes. Just follow the instructions here. Now, if you press Windows and search for Octane, you can see we have start, install, and uninstall. So the first thing you have to do is install. And then here you can enter in whatever you want. I'm gonna use the default and then just follow the instructions here. So which GPU should be used? Let's do all. Do we want to enable out of core? I'm going to say no for now. And then that looks correct. So I'll put Y, enter, and then enter. Now push Windows, Octane, and start. Make sure that you let it through all of your firewall stuff. And if you have an issue, it very well might be related to your firewall. You can't see it, but down here, I can see there's a little window. I'm going to click on that to open up the render node. Here you log in with your Otoy information. Your password does not show when you do it. You just have to type it in and press enter. Once you see this message, this means it is launched and it is working. So the other thing you wanna do here is press Windows and then type in command prompt, search for command prompt. And then here you want to type in IP config and my numbers will be blocked out, but this address right here, you need to copy and save somewhere so that you can access it when you open up your Octane master. Your master render node is just Octane standalone or whatever plugin you're using to do your network rendering. The main thing is just to make sure that it's the same version. So I'm going to go ahead and run it here. Just follow the instructions. Okay. Once it's gone, search for Octane. And then if you get this message, all you have to do is press download and then sign in with your credentials. If you haven't already, go ahead and install a render node and then come back here. Go to file, preferences, and then go down to network rendering. You can enable and disable your network settings here. If you have different subnets, then make sure to choose the correct one. And then you should be able to just choose enable network rendering and your render node should show up if it's active. If it doesn't show up, you may need to go back to that computer, make sure it's awake, make sure that it's not blocked by the firewall, and then try again. You can also manually add your render nodes by clicking add and then typing in the IP address. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And now you can see we have both of these available. Now, if your node does not show up, you may have to uncheck this and check it again. And if it still doesn't show up, what you might need to do is uncheck this, go restart the node on your other computer. So now I'm going to restart Octane. Ah, I had the wrong address. So I'm going to add, enable, and now you can see it is available. Down here, we it says using three of three GPUs of three nodes. What's cool about this is once you've got it set up, then the next time you open Octane, it will automatically launch your render nodes and everything. So once you get it set up, it's actually amazing. Now you'll notice down here on this scene right now, it says using zero of four GPUs of four nodes, updating node one of four. This is a very large project, so it has to transfer all the data, I think, over to each one of the render nodes. 
and I believe it has to be stored in the memory. It can't, it's not being stored on the disk on that other drive. So it's got to transfer all the data. In this case, it's 5.5 gigabytes. So if you had a blank scene, you wouldn't get this updating node. It would just, it would just be automatically done. So I kept having this issue where it was saying updating node, and then as soon as we would finish updating, it would just go back and try to repeat. I went and checked my render nodes, and the last message I see is CUDA error two out of memory. And if you, if you remember when I was setting it up, the first one I set up, I actually did not use out of core rendering. On this project, there are tons and tons and tons of textures, and it's a big, there's a lot of geometry, so I'm going to need to update this to use out of core rendering. There's probably f other ways to do it, but one way you can do it is just uninstall and then reinstall it. So to uninstall, just go down to Windows, search for Octane, and you can uninstall. And then you just have to do it one more time, Octane, install. And then let's fill it out correctly this time, all. And then yes, we want to enable out of core. If there is 32 gigabytes on this, we'll say 24 can go for this. Yes, continue. And then go ahead and start. Okay, looks like it's working now. You can see that our max RAM use is 24. Now let's try rendering and see what happens. So it doesn't see all four yet, so I might actually close this and reopen. Okay, it's not seeing it yet. I'm actually gonna go and restart it on the other computer. Now it sees it, I'm going to enable. I may have to restart again. Lots of restarting, but once you get it set up, it's not that difficult. Okay, now it is running properly. Let's go ahead and press okay. Let's load in our project. All right, so you can see down here we have four GPUs and f all four nodes need to be updated. So let's just wait and see what that does. Okay, now it looks like the first node is done. You can tell there's a huge difference in my rendering time. It's probably exactly twice as fast because it's uh, the same GPU. Okay, now it is using all four of these nodes. So you can see here it's going much faster than it was before. So we're getting about 50 here. And it may be hard for you to tell, but for me it's, it's a night and day difference in how fast it's starting to render. So now we're getting about 70. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lock it in this position and we'll see how long it takes to render. This is with all four of my nodes rendering, so five 3060 TIs. Okay, so here it took 36 seconds to finish. Now let's go ahead and disable our network rendering and see how long it takes. So this number here, 14.7, is exactly five times less than what we were getting before. We were getting 78, 79-ish, something like that. Okay, so the same exact scene here took three minutes and six seconds on one GPU with no network rendering. Okay, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and if you like this video, then you'll probably like this one, where I talk about how to go from Octane for Blender to Octane Standalone and back. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.